Good morning everyone, my name is Ina Grace E. Caudillo and I will be presenting about the RNA primer excision and replacement by DNA. This will be um, the continuation of the previous reports about the DNA replication. Let's pretend that we're in a video game and they are the um, main characters. First, Helicase. He is the unzipping enzyme. The unzipping enzyme breaks through the hydrogen bonds that hold the DNA bases together. Second, the DNA polymerase or the builder. It replicates DNA to build a new strand of DNA. Third, the primase. It is the initializer. It can't figure out where to get started without the primer. The primase makes the primer so that the DNA polymerase can figure out where to go to start to work. And lastly, ligase, or the gluer. It helps glue DNA fragments together. DNA pol 3 continues to synthesize DNA on the lagging strand until it nears the 5' prime end of primer. When this occurs, the RNA is excised and the gap between Okazaki fragments is filled by DNA pol 1. So we're going to focus more on the Okazaki fragments and um, how these main characters uh, work when this occurs. On the 5' prime to 3' prime exonucleus activity, in addition to having the 5' prime to 3' prime polymerase activity that synthesizes DNA and the 3' prime to 5' prime exonucleus activity that proofreads the newly synthesized DNA like DNA pol 3 monomer monomeric DNA pol 1 also has a 5 to 5 prime to 3 prime exonucleus activity that is able to hydrolytically remove the RNA primer. Note that exonucleases remove nucleotides from the end of the DNA chain rather than cleaving the chain internally as do endonucleases. First, DNA pol 1 locates the space between the 3' prime end of the DNA newly syn synthesized by DNA pol 3 and the 5' prime end of the adjacent RNA primer. Next, DNA pol 1 hydrolytically removes the RNA nucleotides ahead of itself, moving in the 5' prime to, end to 3' prime direction. Picture na ito, makikita natin kung, paano kung ano nangyayari kapag ka nagkakaroon ng mga Okazaki fragments. The helicase will keep unwinding in a single direction. And then, primase places primers. DNA pol is building the new strands. Remember that it can only build the new strand in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Meaning, it adds new bases to the 3' prime end on the new strand. It moves along the old template strand in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction. And then, as DNA unwinds, and as DNA pole can only build the new strand in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, it has to keep raising up here next to where this unwinding is happening. Makikita na dito yung lagging strand. Now, on this lagging strand, primers have to keep being placed in order to, in order for DNA pole to build. These fragments that result a that the result is also known as Okazaki fragments. These fragments have to get replaced with DNA bases since the primers were made of RNA. Next up, ligase has to take care of the gaps between the Okazaki fragments, sealing them together. At the end of this replicating, you have two identical double helix DNA molecules from your one original double helix DNA molecule or uh, this is what we call semi-conservative. In this process, you don't want DNA pole to make errors. If it matches the wrong DNA basis, then you could have an incorrectly coded gene, which could ultimately end up in, a, in an incorrect protein or no protein. DNA pole has proofreading ability, meaning it rarely makes a mistake. Lastly, the comparison of 5' prime to 3' prime and 3' prime to 5' prime exonuclease activities. The 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease activity of DNA pol 1 allows the polymerase moving 5' prime to 3' prime to hydrolytically remove one or more nucleotides at a time from the end prime end of the 10 nucleotide long RNA primer.
In contrast, the 3' prime to, pri to 5' prime exonucleus activity of DNA Pol1 and Pol3 allows this polymerases moving 3' prime to 5' prime to hydrolytically remove one misplaced nucleotide at a time from the 3' prime end of the growing DNA strand. Increasing the fidelity of replication such that newly replicated DNA has no more than one error per 10 nucleotides. Now that's all. Thank you for listening.